Over the next five years, Lendlease has about 3,000 homes that need to be re-roofed, which equates to about 45,000 squares of roof shingles. Shingle recycling into asphalt, uh, I believe the last statistic was it's handling maybe five to 10% of the waste shingles in the country. So there's an additional 95, 90 to 95% that's not being handled and it's going to landfills. That could fill Yankee Stadium roughly 27 times every year. This pilot project would allow us to not only divert those shingles from the landfill, but possibly create an alternative new product using the mycelium process. Mycology and microremediation has existed for decades, primarily in the academic world or in environmental remediation. Applying it to shingles is a first, and we believe that's just the beginning point of how we can impact construction and demolition waste. We took roof shingles off of a home at Fort Campbell that we are currently re-roofing. We brought the shingles back down to Rockwood Solutions facility here in Lebanon, Tennessee, and MycoCycle brought their mixture of fungi, um, three different types of fungi, down to the warehouse and mixed them up with the ground roof shingles. Right now, we're only using the shingles from one home, but we know we have a lot more projects coming up. One of the really exciting parts of this project is the potential for circularity and using a nature-based solution to do that. There's no waste in nature. That's a man-made convention. And I hope that we're opening the door for the larger dialogue, not just for our technology, but for other technologies to come to market. At Lendlease, we know we have ambitious goals and we won't be able to achieve them without working together with our partners to help us meet those challenges.